How a Connecticut Couples Stereo Jennifer and Photostillos seem to have it all. After a lavish 2004 wedding in Manhattan, the Ivy League grads moved to the posh, wooded enclave of Farmington, Connecticut. Living in a six-bed, everything looked stereotypically perfect, says real estate broker Rob Giafria of Tea Leaf Realty in Farmington, who befriended the couple when he began working with Photos in 2013. A graduate of Brown University with an MBA in finance from Columbia Business School, Fotis worked hard to build his business, while Jennifer Yu who also graduated from Brown and earned a master's in writing from New York University's Tisch School of the Arts, cared for the children. Though she wrote a blog, her 100% focus was on being a mother, says Giafria. To an outsider, life for the couple was good. Great house but their marriage was a far cry from its picture-perfect appearance. Oh want to keep up with the latest crime coverage? To get breaking crime news, ongoing trial coverage and details of intriguing, unsolved cases in the True Crime Newsletter. Court records depict a couple in the midst of a contentious divorce, which began in 2017 after all with another woman, Michelle Troconis. Unhappy with her, Jennifer also said in court documents that she feared for her life, especially after Fotis bought a handgun, though Fotis disputed the characterization that he was threatening. On May 24, after dropping off her children at school in the morning, she remains missing. Subsequently, Aura arrested and charged with tampering with or fabricating physical evidence and hindering prosecution in connection with the case. Before their arrest, O-Faman and woman matching their descriptions dumping garbage bags at 30 different trash bins in Hartford the night Jennifer went missing, court records show. At least two of the bags allegedly contained clothing and sponges stained with Jennifer's blood. Released on $500,000 bail each, Fotis and Troconis have pleaded not guilty. In his dealings with Fotis, Giafria says he saw zero signs that anything was amiss. Fotis was a very tough negotiator when it comes to fees, but he was able to put deals together and hold them together. Professionally, he describes Jennifer as a very sweet lady. Just a very caring, it's sad, he says. I feel for the kids.